All right, this is it. I've worked my butt off for the past month. 20 days of Genshin Impact, 33 pity under my belt. I'm standing atop the Alcor with 10k primos in the hopes that Celestia hears my cries. Everything has led up to this moment, so mihoyo, there is no reason in hell for you to ever possibly deny- Um... I'll be back in two weeks. Huh, much better. Howdy! You probably clicked on this video to find out how I did that. Either that or you're my friends and just wanted to see my reaction when I got kitching. Regardless, hi! If you're under AR45, I'm about to teach you what it takes for a free-to-play at your level to guarantee an event 5-star. My journey began at AR38. Genshin 1.6 had just released, and along with it came a dripped-out Canadian weeaboo that I desperately wanted. The Midsummer Island adventure practically showered us in content, so most of my early Primo Gems came from the archipelago and its associated events. I imagine a similar thing is probably going to happen with Inazuma, if not more, which is actually how I plan on guaranteeing the next character I want. But anyways, by the end of the Klee banner, I had done all but one quest on the archipelago, obtained every Primo Gem available from the events, and... started my Serenity Pot. Off the islands was equally important because I was busy leveling up characters. I spent resin, raised my reputation, fought bosses, you know, the usual daily and weekly stuff. I also did a couple of story quests, hangout events, exploration domains, and claimed various mail and web event prizes. Everything fell into place, and I had even cleared floor 6 of the Spiral Abyss. I was ready to win my 50-50, though obviously that didn't work out. So, back to the drawing board. The archipelago had another two events, which I made sure to yoink primos from. There was also that one quest I didn't clear? Uh, let's see... A trip through fog and wind. Yeah, I mean, any extra primos helps, right? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, turns out this quest led to multiple precious chests. I don't know the exact count, but it was a lot of primos and a lot of smiles from me. So, I was scraping by in increments now. 30 pity, 40, 50. Problem was, I was starting to run out of primo gems, but luckily, with some help, I managed to beat the entire abyssal corridor, which granted me tons of primo gems and achievement primo gems. But even that wasn't enough, and at that point, I got desperate. I gathered animoculi, geoculi, chests, achievements, I hunted down every little pinch of primo scattered throughout Tevat. Or so I thought. Turns out, I'm a massive idiot. There were still three other ways that I could earn primos extremely quickly that I just apparently forgot about. The first being Dragonspine, an area that was previously too intimidating for me to explore, but thanks to co-op and my new C1 Bennett, everything just sort of died. I did three quests there, the first being the Festering Fang, the second being Ancient Carvings, and the third was Alan Untombed. Apart from these quests, I also opened some of the many, many chests scattered around the area, but moving on from Dragonspine, there was also the Adventurer's Handbook, which surprisingly rewards you with a heck ton of primos. Unfortunately, it was kind of a pain to speedrun, I burned through a lot of artifacts and mora in the process, but it was all worth it, after all I still didn't have the Maple Man, and I really wanted the Maple Man. So, for my third and final act, I ran around the world opening various Shrines of Depths. And yes, you can call me an idiot for this, but I completely forgot about their existence for a while, and I regret that because each shrine gives you 40 Primo Gems, and there are quite a number of them. Not to mention, Inazuma is probably gonna have some too, so... Pog! After everything, I finally had enough Primo Gems. I was sitting at 73 pity. I had enough primo gems on me to hit 80, this was after the 50-50, I was advancing towards soft pity, and on my 79th roll... Oh! Oh my god! Yeah! Let's go! I started this journey at AR38, I'm now AR48, and I have no idea if I'll ever be able to pull that off again. But here's hoping for the future. Any other method that I didn't mention in the video is now on screen, you can pause for that. But if you're wondering, yes. Even if I didn't get him at 80 pity, I still could have pushed further. 
because I still had plenty of chests and achievements left, not to mention the Frostbearing Tree, which actually gives a lot of fates. But yeah, that's all I've got for Genshin for today. I hope this video was helpful to whoever needed it. I wish you all luck with your Inazuma rolls, and cheers. I'll see you around.